Let's go. Huh? Ah! Look, I'm good. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic holiday. Now let's dive into some coding. Today, our focus is on enhancing our aimbot by directing it to the head coordinates of the entity. In a previous tutorial, we covered a basic aimbot that targeted the view offset of the other entities, but it wasn't as reliable. This time, we're aiming for better results. Before proceeding, make sure you have the code from the simple aimbot tutorial as this chapter builds upon it. You can revisit and complete that tutorial if you haven't already, or you can become a member on the coffee page to instantly download the source code. This tutorial is also available on the coffee page at a discounted rate for members. As always, remember to comply with the terms of service for the game you're coding hacks for. Many games permit it and it's essential to respect their guidelines. All Sweat C Sharp tutorials are designed with the multiplayer disabled and this tutorial will precisely demonstrate how to achieve that. If you're interested in more C Sharp tutorials, then don't forget to subscribe, like and leave a comment. By doing so, you're likely to see my face or my tutorials in your feed. The Discord link is in the description, so feel free to join and engage with the community. Now, let's enjoy this tutorial. Welcome to today's showcase. So, the code that we will write today isn't a lot. Most of this is from the aimbot tutorial before. So, the only thing we will add is reading the head bone. We will calculate the view angles based on the head bone now instead. So, we aim on the head. That's it. But it's a, a bit tricky if you're new to it. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So we will open Steam. We will add in that properties under the launch options. We add dash insecure. This is incredibly important because this will disable VAC. So we can't join any normal users who play the game. We can play with ourselves and properly research in a safe environment. We can't ruin anyone else's experience. That's it. Add dash insecure. And when we're inside of a practice game on dust 2, we can go towards the enemy team. I've stopped them here. They are, they are bots. We run our program. Just click on the play button. Here we have some head coordinates, but we have our same good old menu, nothing has changed there. We can hold our hotkey and he will aim on the enemy head. Would you look at that? So much better than the view offset. I can understand why you guys suggested it. So just hold head bow now. We can even crouch. It will still work because we're doing the calculations correctly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in a bit. So we're back at our simple aimbot code. Now, first thing we will do is to go into the entity class and add the new vector or coordinate that we need, which is the head coordinate. So we add a new vector free called head. Next in line will be to add some offsets. So we will go into A2X CS2 dumper on GitHub. Credits goes to him for his dumper. And we'll go into the generated folder and into the client.dll.cs file, we will search for the m underscore model state here. When we have the model state, we will simply search for the game scene node. 
we will use these both when we navigate through their entity and to his bonds. This means we can go into our program.cs file, scroll down to the if statement that compares the current palm to our local play palm, and create an int pointer for the scene node. So we will get the scene node from the current palm and the offset p game scene node. When we have the scene node, we can locate the bone matrix or bone array whatever sounds best, and get it by reading a pointer again, but now with the game scene node, plus the offset, model state, and 080, or x80. This is the value of the DV bone matrix. I couldn't find it in the A2x CS2 dumper, but that's the value or the offset. Once we have the bone matrix address, we can go into our entity creation and the attributes. We can set the head value to sweat.readVec for vector free and use the bone matrix with the offset of 6 times 32. With that being, the bone ID is 6 and 32 is the current step. So we just go six steps into the bone array to get the head coordinate. It's not harder than that, or more complicated. We can also change the console bright line to write out the current head position. So we just change it to head coordinate or location and set the entity dot head value. Once we have the head location, we will just go down to our angle calculation and change it from the entity view to the first entity in the entities list and the head position. That's it. Then I'll just change the thread of sleep to 14. You can change it to whatever you want. I don't care. Okay, so that was a quick one. Let's try it out. But like always, we will go into the properties of Counter-Strike 2 and add the dash insecure launch option because we don't want to ruin anyone else's experience and we want to disable VAC. So everybody wins if we use dash insecure like you should. Let's run it. And in the game menu, we can test that dash insecure is enabled by going into the matchmaking and trying to join the normal matchmaking. You can see here that we have launched the game from dash insecure mode. So we're good to go. Let's go into a casual map with infinite ammo and infinite warm up on the dust 2 map. I've bought an SG and we're at the enemy spawn. So if we hold our aim key now, we should aim on some enemy heads. Now there, there is a box there, so bad timing, but if we aim, he aims on the head position. Would you look at that? Let's be a bit sneaky. Through the box. That's really cool. Much more re reliable than our view offset. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the next one.